Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On March 8, 2024, the Korea Central News Agency, KCNA, disclosed details of artillery fire training exercises carried out by the North Korean People's Army, KPA, near the South Korean border. The primary objective of these exercises was to evaluate the combat readiness and capabilities of the artillery units, with a particular focus on assessing the firepower of key units, including long-range artillery crucial for strategic deterrence. Prominent figures from North Korean leadership, including Kim Jong-un, the country's leader, Kang Sun-nam, Minister of National Defense, Ri Yong-gil, Chief of the General Staff of the KPA, and the Commander of the KPA's Joint Forces, were present at the exercises. The emphasis was on evaluating the preparedness and skills of the artillery men, with Kim Jong-un personally overseeing the exercises from an observation post and engaging directly with participants, underscoring the significance of artillery in North Korea's military strategy. Post-exercises, Kim Jong-un expressed satisfaction with the performance and readiness of the artillery divisions. Concurrently, South Korea and the United States have been conducting joint live-fire exercises near the North Korean border since the beginning of 2024. In January, these exercises involve South Korean units, including the Capital Mechanized Infantry Division and the 2nd Quick Response Division, utilizing various military hardware such as K-9 and K-9A1 self-propelled howitzers, K-1A2 and K-2 Black Panther main battle tanks, K-600 Rhino mine clearing tanks, and K-21 infantry fighting vehicles. On March 4, 2024, South Korea and the United States commenced their annual joint military exercises, named Freedom Shield 2024. Scheduled for 11 days, this exercise aims to enhance defensive readiness against potential North Korean threats, incorporating live exercises that integrate insights from current global conflicts to improve combat readiness. North Korea state media criticized these South Korea-US maneuvers as provocative, warning of an increased risk of clashes. In response to heightened tensions, the South Korean military intensified its monitoring of North Korea's activities, conducting over 90 artillery firings on January 7, 2024. To bolster surveillance capabilities, the South Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, announced on January 8, 2024, the planned deployment of two additional military spy satellites equipped with synthetic aperture radar, SAR, technology, set for launches in April and November 2024. The situation escalated further due to recent statements and actions from North Korea, including Kim Jong-un's December 31, 2023 speech threatening a nuclear attack on Seoul and ordering an expansion of the country's military capabilities in anticipation of potential conflict on the Korean peninsula. North Korea's strategy, inferred from these actions, appears to involve escalating tensions, possibly to extract concessions, especially in light of potential political changes in the United States. This strategy aligns with North Korea's international actions, including arms deliveries to Russia and Hamas, coupled with advancements in military capabilities demonstrated by the successful test of the Huazel-2 strategic cruise missile, launches of the new Pul Huazel 331 submarine launch strategic cruise missile, and tests of a newly developed 240mm multiple rocket launcher system. That's all for now. See you later.